In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a nice clean sci-fi pipe like this one in my render. This technique can be applied in numerous ways when creating tubes, cords, wires, and really anything that follows a curvy path. So let's get started. First, let's delete everything in our scene. Add a cylinder and rotate it 90 degrees on the y-axis. Play around with the scale for a bit and do find a scale and proportion that you like. In edit mode, use Ctrl R to add loop cuts. I'm going to add 5. By holding down Alt Shift while left clicking, select your new loops. Ctrl B to bevel the edges, and now with the face selected, Alt E to extrude along the normals. Select your outer faces like this, and Alt E, extrude along normals. Then with the new faces selected, you guessed it, extrude them along the normals. Let's clean it up a bit, so select the faces on either side and delete them. Add an array modifier and set the x-axis relative offset to 1. Then add a few more pipes. Let's make it look pretty. Set the shading to smooth. And in the object settings, activate auto smooth. Give it a bevel modifier. Make sure to set the limit method to angle. Don't forget to apply the scale. I think our pipe is ready. Let's hide it and move on to the path. Add a cube and align it like so, holding down Ctrl, snapping it to the grid. Select the vertice on the world cursor and press Ctrl I to inverse the selection, then X to delete. Now extrude your vertice into whatever path you want your pipe to follow. Now use Ctrl Shift B to bevel the vertices. This gives a more organic and expected look. Don't forget to reset the origin to geometry. In object mode, convert the mesh to a curve. With your pipe unhidden and selected, add a curve modifier and select the target as the curve. Now it may look pretty messed up to start off with, but we can fix that. All you have to do is move the pipe to the curve by first selecting the pipe and then selecting the curve and pressing Shift S, selection to active. And hey, would you look at that, our pipe's finished. It's all done and works. So if you want to make it longer, you just simply adjust the array modifier and move it on the x-axis. You might want to build a little world around it. Or maybe model some bracket thingies to hold your pipe in place so it doesn't slip everywhere. Put it in a render and there you go, there's your pipe. Thank you, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I might be doing some more of them, just some really basic, easy to follow <laughs> type things. See you in the next one.